Hey everybody, it's Moose here. Just Moose, not Dallas. Um, we will re be recording our own videos now, going off into two separate playlists on this channel now. Um, I do have the PVR, Dallas does not. So when he records, he'll have to be over at my house. So I will be uploading more than he will. I'm hoping to upload two or three times a week, but I'm not sure how long each video will be taking right now. So that may vary, that may be more or less. We're hoping Dallas can at least upload one to two a week. So, we'll see how that goes. Look at this lag in this video here. Get that host migration going. There we go. Um, in the first video we had, I touched on how, in that video, I was Chambi. That was my name. That was my gamertag before, um, Moose6, which 6 actually stands for the number of gamertags I have had. Over the summer, I just kept changing my name over and over. Could not stick with one. But... Yeah, so now I'm Moose 6, and that, is, that probably probably will be what I'm staying with for a long time, hopefully. Um, To get into a little bit about me and Call of Duty, I've played all the Call of Duties. I actually own all the Call of Duties right now, except the first one. I need to I need to get on that, go find out how to get that. Um, So I played them all, but like Call of Duty 4, Call of Duty 5, World of War, um, I don't know, I never, I never really got into them. I played them, but it was kind of like... I was that kid that would get on once a week and just do horrible, but didn't care because I never played. The end of MW2 and Black Ops, those, that's where I was, I started no life and I played more than I slept, I, I don't know, those were my games right there. Black Ops, that was, that's my favorite so far. Um, MW3, I, obviously I played it a lot, I did get to 20th Prestige, reset myself, I'm now 3rd Prestige will probably be staying there only because I mean Black Ops coming out in I don't know you guys probably know 20 days something like that so there's no point in me prestiging again trying to get all the way up there it's just not worth it I probably shouldn't have reset myself it was a stupid idea it actually made the game more boring for me now but whatever um a little bit about the gameplay here I'm using the ACR as you can tell this is this gun is the best you can call it newbie you can call it cheap but it is, it's my baby, it's, this is my gun. Um, a little bit about it, since I, I have played with it, since when I was 20, 20th Prestige, I actually had 26, 27,000 kills with it, so I have used it a fair amount. Um, for a little bit about it, the red dot on it is very good. Um, it's what people play in game battles, and that's what everybody uses, red dot. What I'm using here is Red Dot Extended Mags, which is it's pretty decent. The Extended Mags does help you get more bullets to start off with. You also get more bullets in a clip. So if you're if you're having a gunfight and you're spraying somebody down, then you have more chance of winning since you have more bullets. Um, you see a lot of people using Silencer, Silencer Extended Mags. That's, that's also a pretty good combination. I usually use Silencer Kick. I think Kick on the ACR is very necessary, just because... The recoil does not always stay the same. It's very, uh, I don't know how you say it, different? Not different, but I don't know. But it it will change. And I think people thought there was a patch on Silence Kick, so they start using Silence Extended Mags. But I don't know. I use Silence Kick, and I love it. So my, my thing is you have to use Kick and either a Silencer or Red Dot. That would be my advice. Another thing on the class here, I don't know why I'm using flashbangs. I, I never use flashbangs. I usually use concussions. Just because they're so much more helpful. If you throw them, they, the other people can't move. They're just they're stunned right there. Whereas a flashbang, they can't see, yeah, but all they have to do is lay down, wait a couple seconds, and they come and kill you. So I would suggest using concussions. And then Semtex Frag. I know a lot of people are like, oh, Semtex better. Oh, Frag's better because you can cook them. Well, it doesn't matter. Use whatever you feel more comfortable with. That's personal preference. A little bit about my perks. First perk, I always use sleight of hand. That is, I don't know, that's what I do. I always use sleight of hand because I reload after every shot. Um, that's that's who I am. I I reload just in case I might need to spray somebody down. You know. Oh look at that. That was three kills right there. Whatever. So I just spray them down. I need to reload all the time. Oh four. Whatever. Uh, second perk always. Second perk is always assassin. For me, at least, unless I'm using specialist, which then I use hardline to get that first kill. Um, it's it's overpowered, yeah, but whatever. Third perk. No matter how long I've been playing this game, I cannot choose a third perk. 
Dead Silence, Sit Rep, Marksman, Stalker. I mean, Stalker, you can juke everybody out. It can be Michael Jordan over here, but Dead Silence, I mean, you can sneak around. And same, with, same, same thing with Sit Rep. You can just sneak around and look where they're all camping at, take them out. Look at that guy was trying to camp in the little metal detector. That took him right out. Uh, kill streaks here. These these kill streaks I was using this game were very good. Um, I was using five as a predator missile, seven attack helicopter, and then twelve Pavlo. Pavlo, oh my gosh, I love Pavlo. That's my favorite kill streak in Call of Duty history. Um, a little bit of tips on like how to play. Um, I'm not gonna go too depth, too far in depth with it, but. My advice is just be careful. Don't be stupid and just jump around. I know you see MLG players like this kid right here jumping around. And I just took him right out, see? He's stupid. You don't want to jump around corners, drop shot. And I mean, that might help sometimes. It might look cool, but it's just stupid, I think. And don't be creepy either. Don't, like, crouch around corners, crouch walk everywhere with your silenced and blind eye assassin dead silence. Like, that's just creepy. I hate when people do that. You want to be smart. You want to get behind cover, you want to push up little by little, talk to your teammates. And then another thing, teamwork. Teamwork is key in this game. People say, oh, well, Battlefield 3, like Dallas. Dallas would, he would, he would yell at me for saying this, but he doesn't know yet. Battlefield 3, you need a team, yes, I know that. Call of Duty, he's like, well, one person can, they can rule the whole game, they can take over. Yeah, that's true, but teamwork helps. It helps a lot. For domination, I would say run a six-man team. That is a full team. Anything else, you're gonna have, you're gonna run into some difficulties. Here I'm running a four-man team, just because nobody else was on, nobody wanted to play. Um, I don't know. Everybody was tired. I don't know. So I would say run a six-man team because you don't want randoms that you can't talk to that are taking flags that you don't want them to take or not taking flags that they're sitting right next to. Those are the people that bug me. Um, so there's a somebody commented that they wanted to see spawn trap videos. And since I'm playing a terminal, I'll tell you the terminal one. You want to take C and B, and then right behind me here, there's a little building at A. You let them have A. They all spawn inside that building as long as you don't push in there too hard. They should all spawn inside there. Um, and then you just, if you're feeder, you get all the feeds in there. You take them out, get your high kill streaks. That will help, but you'll probably need a six-man team for that. Saying as you'll be, you'll all be sitting there taking them out. And your one random will run in there and just take the flag, thinking he's sweet, wondering why you're not taking it. Well, yeah, you need a six-man team. So, yeah, if you guys would like to see any more videos of me going over weapons, maps, spawn traps, anything like that, I can, can make that happen. Right now, I'll probably be going over some drop shot tips and tricks. Possibly the snake glitch. I can do tips and tricks on that. Um, if you guys don't know what that is, I'll have to make that video so you guys can see. So if you guys have any ideas on anything, comment, like, subscribe. It really helps us out. So that's all I got for today. I hope you guys watch the rest of this gameplay. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.